Hi, I'm Victoria with Clive Coffee, and today we're going to be showing you how to set up your new Eureka Atom 75 espresso grinder. Step one, out of the box and onto the counter. Once you remove the grinder from its box, set the grinder on a stable and level surface and inspect it for any damage. If you notice any, contact us immediately. Insert the hopper and lightly tighten the hopper screw to hold it in place. Plug the grinder in and turn it on. Step two, feeling the coffee. Put some beans into the hopper and grind them into your hand. Feel the grounds. For espresso, they should feel similar to table salt. Not as fine as powdered sugar, but not as coarse as sand. Our coffee was a bit coarse, so we'll go finer. Step three, dialing the dose. Once the grind is in the ballpark, it's time to start pulling shots. First, grab a scale and tear the weight of the portafilter. Next, fill your hopper. Use your portafilter to press and hold the grind button, and when the basket looks relatively full, release it to stop. Now weigh the portafilter. Out of remove grounds is necessary to get to 20 grams if you're using a triple basket, or 18 grams if you're using a double. Our dose is a little high, so we're gonna remove some grounds. Step four, adjustments, shot time. Grip the tamper as though you are grasping a doorknob. Tamp straight down and simply lean your weight into it comfortably. The amount of pressure is not nearly as important as your consistency and ability to keep the tamp perfectly level so water doesn't find weak spots. Insert your portafilter and start the shot. We're going to be watching for the time of the first drops of espresso to fall between six and 10 seconds. As the shot progresses, we'll observe the total shot time. Our target output is 1.5 ounces or 30 grams liquid espresso in 25 to 30 seconds. If it falls under 25 seconds, we'll need to adjust finer. If it falls over 30 seconds, we'll adjust coarser. Our shot pulls a little bit fast, so we're gonna make a slight adjustment finer. Make small adjustments. This will be easier than making big changes and overcorrecting. Step five, time dosing. Once we have our grind dialed, we can set up the grind timer for consistent and repeatable dosing. With the hopper filled, press the dose button you'd like to program. To change the time, press the plus and minus buttons. After grinding another dose, weigh the portafilter again. If the dose is too small, increase the timed setting. If it's too much, decrease it. For more tips on coffee technique and recipes, check out these videos here. For more coffee know-how, don't forget to check back in at clivecoffee.com.